you win the job in training camp. Since then, you've been incredibly successful. The first start of your career has been really strong. Are you surprised by the success that you've had so early? It's a combination of hard work and just kind of like, you know, trusting in my ability a lot and, you know, the off-season work that I have done. I think that it's not as surprising to me just because of that. Um, I feel like that I've, you know, transitioned from college and the last season that I had and kind of wanted to have some things to improve on. What were some of those things that you wanted to be intentional about improving right out of college? Yeah, I think my consistency, I really wanted to turn over a lot of balls. Um, I really wanted to increase my hang time. Um, that was one of the things in college that, that I was trying to strive for every year. And that last year, I kind of had a little bit more than I have in the past. So I really wanted to improve that. You're the first punter in NFL history to have three consecutive games where you average more than 55 yards per punt. So I would say it's working. I mean, these are huge numbers that you're putting up. Have you stopped for a minute to kind of consider the magnitude of what you've been able to accomplish in just the first part of your career? I think the main thing that, especially with this season being a lot longer than college, it's like staying with what you've been doing and just being consistent week in and week out. And I feel like that's where my concentration's kind of been on. Your drop, the way that you drop the ball to kick it is different than what other punters do. Explain that. Yeah, so the underhand drop started with um, with my dad, my uncle. Um, they, they basically taught a lot of their guys when they ran camps um, how to do it. The guy that taught them was Ray Pelfrey in Reno. And um, it kind of just stuck when, when they would teach it. They just kind of explained that, hey, this is how we do it. And if it's comfortable to you, do it. And so when I was learning how to punt, um, it just was something that was natural and I've kept it. Everyone talks about your power. You are an incredibly powerful punter, but you're not the tallest guy. Where does that power come from? Finding that like quick twitch muscle um, was kind of something that's helped me in all the sports I've ever played. Uh, in football, I really, when when I was younger, I trained a lot into a, it was like a tackling bag, basically, kicking a tackling bag. I know that sounds funny, but it, it I truly think that that helped me a lot. And I think that that's where the power has really come from, just being, uh, being quick to the football. When did you realize that you had the ability to kick stuff really far? I really didn't know that I had that ability till about my senior year of high school that I kind of was able to punt the ball decently far and I think into college I realized it a little bit more my my sophomore year of college. You're a rookie but nothing about you the way you handle yourself the way that you perform on the field says rookie to anybody. Where does that confidence come from? I think it I think it's just trust you know I trust my ability I trust the work that I put in um, you know a lot of people all talk about well I I put in all this work and this and that and and some people don't truly believe that they did put in that work um, I do feel like I've put in the work and I'll continue to put in the work. And I think that that's what, having something to look forward to, uh, to improve on, it's the confidence of like, hey, I did this, but it could be better. And so I think that that's something that's kind of helped me throughout my entire career. Ryan Stonehouse, thanks so much. Yeah, thank you guys.